Hello everybody and welcome. We are getting set up for game one of the grand finals of the 2v2 tournament. I am your host, Ansem571. Please forgive me as I am recovering from a cold, but we are going to be bringing you Burza and Nora versus Alpha Rudolph and Senpai Daisuke. So we've already got bands going underway. Uh, Senna on the blue side with uh or sorry <laughs> they they're swapped apparently Varus and Senna Lucian Karma Yes, I don't know why they're doing it in the opposite way, but that is what they are doing. Then Leona and Morgana to wrap up the bands. And we are getting into the actual game. So for those of you who have not paid attention, um, <clears throat> or are just joining in for the first time, uh, for the 2v2 tournament, we have it in blind pick mode, where the draft is done in uh, the in-game client, as there is no official way for us to do it, as Riot does not give us these awesome game modes that would be beautiful for us regular people to have. But that is neither here nor there. So. Going to go ahead and get everything set up for the in game. Stats and whatnot. Um, so, from uh, both sides, uh, Alpha Rudolph and Senpai Daisuke, Daisuke, because people are going to bitch at me about that later. Um, sure why that's showing there but you know all right <clears throat> I am alone Uh, we actually have in our matchup Caitlyn and Thresh versus Caitlyn and Lux. So I I like the Lux a little bit more than the Thresh. Uh, the only reason is because you can bully out the Thresh a little bit easier as Lux uh, than the other way around. But if Thresh does actually manage to land his crowd control, then it's a pretty nice setup for him uh, with the Caitlyn to lay down the traps and get pretty nice damage off but likewise it's much easier for the Lux uh, who can land the snare and then Caitlyn gets the traps etc and death so it'll be on Thresh to land the hooks onto Senpai uh, and for Senpai to, to dodge him
just so that way everybody can see that I am the one and only caster. Yes, I am alone. I need friend help. <laughs> so yes, as uh, those of you who are aware, uh, since this is a spectator, we do have the spectator delay. Uh, this is so that way we can both we can see the entire matchup. Um, and even if the match is only like two minutes or one minute, because somehow people died that fast. Um, this is to avoid not being able to see any of the action and just see us in these loading screens. Because that has happened from time to time uh, in several of the broadcast matches where just we don't get to see any of the action because some of the games have gone just two minutes and 45 seconds. So... Uh, we're getting in in just one short second. We are at 20 seconds remaining, so everybody hang on to your seats and get ready, because we're going in. I'm not going to have a voice tomorrow. Now, the real winners are Burza and Nora, as they actually do have skins uh, where uh, just the uh, Senpai or Alpha Rudolph has the skin. So. Looking at it now, uh, we do see that uh, both support characters did actually go with a support item, unlike other matchups we've seen where maybe a uh, double corrupting potion or something of the like. And they do get that ward down and doesn't go down to Lux. So that's a little bit of an experience uh, that they don't get as a lead for the Lux this time around. Maybe next game. But with uh, Thresh actually being a little bit more ranged now. Ooh, hook goes wide. And, and red side Caitlyn is ahead of blue side Caitlyn. And especially the Lux is ahead of the Thresh in terms of health, which is going to be critical come uh, level 2 and 3. Where's just been taking the beating? Oh, he did try and aim it, but or he did try and time it, and he did get the timing right, it just wasn't at the correct angle. Uh, it's going to be difficult to keep track of the traps. Whose trap is whose? Which ones can you walk on? Well, if you have colorblind mode like I do. <clears throat> then you'll be able to see that there are some that are red and some that are blue. Uh, it seems that the blue side Caitlyn actually went with the net second. Ooh. 
Miss that creep. Very unlucky for the, the uh, blue side, Caitlyn, so far. Hasn't been able to get some of those uh, last hits on the creeps. Yes, as I have said before, I am uh, recovering from the sick. Yeah, since the range is about the same for uh, both sides, uh, the Caitlyn's, yes. Um, the Lux and the Thresh have about the same range for uh, their engagement tools. Uh, it's going to be on those little tiny cheeky shots that they can get off onto their opponents. See, there's... Uh, but Caitlyn was unfortunately not able to get there fast enough. Nora's trying to figure out how to play the Thresh, uh, not very used to it as, uh, as the skill level has been shown thus far. Ooh, doesn't have the charge. <sighs> Just too short. Thresh, pick up the souls! Pick up the souls, Thresh! Yeah, unfortunately, it's just a little, uh, li little slow in this first game. Everybody's just wanting to, uh, do some wave clearing. Oh, looks like a little bit of a fight happening over here. Thresh is looking for it. He's going to flash for it, maybe. Nope, just goes in for the whack. It's sort of, sort of an even trade, I would say. Uh, ooh, Thresh looking for the Caitlyn and then goes for the Lux. It's these little mind games with Thresh Q. Uh, it's, it's actually can be difficult to predict at times, so. It's, it, it's a little bit of a mind game, but it doesn't seem like Nora's that used to it. A at least from what I'm seeing. Ooh, did land it. Thresh going a little too far. Caitlyn not in range to help. So with that, the first blood does go down to the side of C2. For Alpha and Senpai. Yeah, Thresh just didn't get the memo, everybody. It's like, hey, I want to go get some stuff. Okay, well, I want to get the Slux. But, but I want to buy items. Yes, if anybody would like to uh, cast then with me, then that would be swell. It feels so alone.
Yes, so I am solo casting. It is a very sad time. I would like to have somebody here with me. If only somebody, maybe even a rioter, would join in. So with that, we've gone back to a little bit of a lull. Um, so we do actually have a sort of even game, despite the uh, that first blood going over. That is e the exact gold difference, and that is actually quite a quite a bit of a, uh, a meaning for this game. Yes, I am very um, enthusiastic about a match where it's just wave clearing uh, for nine minutes now. I like fighting and there's like not that much fighting. There's poke. That's not that's not fun. That's This is the goddamn finals. You should be fighting every goddamn time you can. Oh no. Oh she's trapped. Oh no. But the thrush does block for her. For his Caitlyn. Uh, let this go ahead and be ahead in time to uh, to notify everybody that season two will be starting soon. Registrations close this Friday. So make sure you get you, your friends, your uncles, your aunts, everybody, to get in on season two for the new season where nobody knows what the fuck's going on. Oh, does land the hook onto the Caitlyn, but he's trapped up. He's getting a lot of damage down. And does take down the Caitlyn. She does not have barrier like the blue side Caitlyn does. Okay, now that that was a good fight. That was that was a little bit more exciting than the last few minutes. I'll admit. All right, now they're going to go ahead and get some plating down. Um, blue side does have plates down uh, as a deficit four to three. But here is the benefit of the uh, the teleport on the red side. Caitlin is able to get back before any more plating is lost. And as previously mentioned, yes, I am still recovering from the sick. So I apologize for those with headphones and hearing me cough. I, I literally cannot do anything about it. I have literally taken all my medicine. I'm out of the medicine. With that, now there's only one plating, I believe, on, this, on the blue side, if we take a gander. Yeah, one and a half K gold remaining. Or, uh, health remaining. Oh, did hit the Caitlyn, but is unfortunately not able to block it. She should have actually had just taken the barrier just to reduce the damage, because I don't know if she actually even has time uh, to back. Oh, she's going to have to hoof it. Yeah, less than a thousand health remains on the blue side tower. 852. That's not that much, cons but... <clears throat> the Lux actually did end up going back. And Nora is trying to distract the Caitlyn as much as he can. But it's not going to be good enough because... Uh, well, actually, mm, now it is, but now you have to wonder. Thresh, you're really low on health. You need to be able to fight this next fight because you don't have the option of being able to go back like uh, the Lux had. Especially since you only had tier 1 boots. Uh, that is unfortunate. As well as the fact that uh, with the new Relic Shield line, um, you no longer uh, get 
uh, healings off of your relic shield procs, which was a nice, nice little benefit that it gave you back in the day. Season, what, season four through nine kids will remember? Yeah, only things 2010s will remember. The tens were nothing but f uh, fucking memes. Like, that's all it was. Like, was there a global conflict? Yeah, but nobody really cared about that. We only cared about the memes. Like, we had- we, we saw the rise and fall of Vine. Uh... We saw it try and re-rise as, uh... Oh, they actually got the- the Lux! Thresh found a way to go back. Um... Oh! Oh, that was almost there. That actually would have been cool as shit. But, unfortunately, he did not make it out in time. <laughs> Again, I apologize. But now we do have uh, this quick back that Caitlyn is trying to make. And she's got to run out there because that tower is almost gone. And Red Side Caitlyn might actually just win this. Uh, by the sole fact that <laughs> nobody's there. Ah, oh, that's going to be a sad way to win the first game. Ah. Oh. Alright, well that is game one everybody. So, uh, that will be game one of this best of five series. So now we'll go ahead and get set up for game two. Don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.
And we are back, everybody, with my now new co-host, Delta Terra. Yeah, so, uh, Senpai and Alpha, they were part of Group C, which, uh, originally was thought to have been, uh, the Group of Death, but now looking at, uh, did I say Group B or Group C? I should have said Group C. Anyways, they were part of Group C. Group B, uh, with Burza and Nora actually had a lot of tiebreaker matches that had to happen, but we're going to go ahead and get underway. Uh, so we have Caitlyn on the red side, Senna on the blue side. I don't know why they ha Yes, there was a lot of poke going on, and it was a very slow-paced match, uh, unfortunately. Yes, uh, it was very, uh, very slow and not very impactful to watch or cast. Uh, they... Yeah, it was, uh, it was interesting. And we do have our final band now. So, on the red side is Caitlyn Varys Karma, and on the blue side is Senna Lucian Lux. They have, uh, they have actually swapped sides, so Senpai and, and Rudolph are on the blue side, and Burza and Nora are on the red side. So, we're going to go ahead and get into, uh, champion selection for game two of the series. Yeah, we are not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that that has for uh, both sides of the bracket. Uh, as these are from opposing sides and whatnot, uh, it has proven for many pairings to be very successful for them. AP NASA's that that would be an interesting one. I haven't seen that one. Not gonna lie. Pretty sure I only hear one person. Could you talk again, please? Can you talk? Just to be sure. Uh, let me try. Tease. Would you please talk again, sir? Testing, testing. Yeah, there we go. Yes, they are both locked in. So now we do have Misfortune and Morgana on the blue side for Elf and Senpai. I, I don't know why it's low, but let's pick that up. Okay, there you go. Um, and then Zaya Morgana on the red side. Yeah, so like I said, a very powerful champion Morgana is. And the fact that they're playing a very normal looking bot lane in the mid lane speaks to how powerful the bot lane synergy is of the two champions could be either that's <clears throat> the burst of a snare and morgana or a kind of a sustained safety of a zaya and morgana yeah i feel it's a little bit more safe with the zaya but 
uh, the raw damage that Misfortune can put out with just a simple uh, Q, killing a minion, and then killing somebody else, that's going to hurt a lot. Yeah. And, and since so I this is also what... like a really short game mode, uh, I think that um, Lethality Misfortune would be better than Crit Misfortune. Mm -hmm. I want to see Lethality, but it might be a thing where she goes like Essence Reaver Fork or something. That is a very late game build. Let, let's stick with the Lethality, get a couple of those, um, what are they called? Wow. Storm Razor, maybe. Maybe no, the, not a storm razor. The lethality. Um... Oh, umbral glaive. <laughs> yeah. Well, the... is that a thing? Dust yeah, it is a thing. Yeah, that is a thing. Uh, dust blade is a thing. Yeah. Serrated dirk. That's a thing. Serrated dirk. Thank you, scrambles. I was. It was. It was something dirk, and I was like, it, it was this dirk -dirk. jaggedy looking dirk, and I was like, I, it, it escaped me. So we're just waiting for the game to start. <clears throat> yes, the uh, the spectator delay kind of uh, kind of does suck a little bit, but unfortunate. But it, yeah. So I know that the time that I casted Senpai Desuki and Alpha Rudolph, they played exclusively um, ADC and support in the mid lane. Yes. So I wouldn't be surprised if they were playing like another ADC, the next one, and the next one, and the next one. Yeah. And um, there are several replacements for Morgana. Lux is one of them. Um, they did play Karma, I believe. And yeah, there's not yeah. really a way to ban out either of those um, players. Yeah, because um, Senpai and Alpha, they were actually in my group as well. Um, and I believe that we both only played um, standard bottom lanes, like an AD carry and support. Uh, and just had to outskill each other of who was going to be the uh, superior duo. Yeah, so better bot lane wins. Mm -hmm. And in a best of three, it was not them. But they are in the finals, so congratulations to them. I mean, they made it this far, so yeah. Well, both of these teams, actually. So I see that this is going to be a press the attack misfortune. Um, that does speak to the fact that she is building a little bit more attack speed than normal. Maybe he's going for like an early attack speed item and then going to lethality, or maybe she's just going Bork or Bork components first. Which I think is a little bit too slow for a 2v2 game mode. But if they do get into the first item range of time, like 15 minutes in, then maybe it'd be pretty good to have a Presti attack. Mind you, Presti attack's passive um, increases your damage to your opponent, um, not only from yourself, but from your allies as well. So those oh. from Morgana bindings and Morgana, Morgana Ws actually hurt a little bit more if the proc Presti attack proc is activated. Huh. Today I learned. Um, I thought it was just your overall damage after you get it. Not... I believe it's like 15% of yours. I don't know the exact numbers, but it's like yours is like 15% to 20%. And then your opponent, your allies is like 4%. It's not significant, but it is there. That is a nice spreadsheet, everybody. Let me go ahead and transition into the game now. So no one is going to lane while poking each other. We don't see any mid lane dancing or mid lane poke going on. No, we're both, uh, th this is going to be a, s a slow start, I feel, but as soon as Misfortune starts hitting those Ws, then it's, uh, it's going to pick up real quick, I feel. Yeah, mind you, they both have comments, so expect a lot of, uh, or not things Ws, falling Qs. from the sky. Yeah. Um... For combat summoners, it looks like Zaya and Morgana does have the edge with um, Barrier and Ignite. Um, yeah, I, I like would have Jackie. preferred the um, the Comet off of the uh, Misfortune. I think you said that earlier. Uh, it, yeah. it, it's just a better ability for Misfortune, especially in these uh, shorter game modes. Yeah, I, I feel like Press the Attack does take a little too long to get ready or 
to scale, rather. Ooh, missed one. Um, there is just some standard bot laning shenanigans happening in mid lane, so nothing special is really happening. I mean, CS is pretty special, but you know. But that 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 only counts for so much. Oh. Oof. Wide binding there. It's crazy. Oh, got yeah. the Q off, but didn't do so that it much will be damage. A little, it will be a little slow for the first five minutes. Hopefully it does pick up, as ADCs tend to get more abilities and people get more abilities here, left and right. Um, Misfortune did get overheal. So is she definitely thinking hmm. of going for that fork early? Then I think it would have been better for her to have gone... Uh, uh, what is that? Fleet footwork. Uh, just so that yeah. the overheal actually can proc as a better healing mechanic for her. Yeah, that's true. Fleet footwork would have been a little bit better. Um, but it doesn't give me any extra damage, right? So. No, but it gives you better uh healing stats. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Oh, that minion is the savior. <laughs> wow, that minion just saved senpai. <laughs> Oof. Misfortune is less than half HP. Had to burn a pot. Stay up there. Mm -hmm. uh, both but sides then... actually do go for the uh, uh, the biscuits. Mm -hmm. But Magrana is um, low in HP. Or low in mana, rather. Uh, both are. Did... Did they change the support items where they doesn't give you mana regen anymore? Yes, they do not give you mana regen anymore. Okay. That was okay, the uh, the nerf good. they gave to uh, all of the damaging spellcaster mages like Morgana. Right, because I know in the P oh god, Morgana might be no. No, oh, she's okay. She's okay. Is the ignite on? Uh, ignite is still on. Yeah, okay. Uh, um, I know in the PVE. Should you, I was should you me... speed up? I think you should speed up. I should speed up. Because you're a bit so you're a bit behind. I am a little bit behind. Um, anyways, uh, I know looking at patch 10.1 is that they reverted some of the mana regen on the support items. Mm -hmm. So every support item is going to get some mana or health regen, depending what they are. Nice. I missed that. Um, will Relic Shield be getting their healing on Execute back? Um, no. Well, I believe it's still, it's still there for the first two parts, right? No, it's not. No, so, uh, so all of them lose their gold generation part. Mm -hmm. uh, like the uh, the tribute, um, or the relic shield procs, they all go away after the first two. Um, right. But with the relic shield uh, and pauldron line, um, they originally once upon a time were going to be giving uh, health execute or the health uh, back on executes. Like as they did before in the Relic Shield line, back before 9.23. Right. That's what I want back. <laughs> I don't think that's coming back. I have to look at the 10.1 patch notes. I just know for a fact that they're bringing health and mana regen back. Okay. Well, I, I want my health public. on Execute back because that... And that's public information, so... <laughs> yeah, so I, I want my health on Execute back. That's what I want back. Okay. Yeah, that's... I don't know, I don't play any tank support, so it doesn't really hurt me that much. I barely notice it. Yeah, but it, it hurts me because I only play tank supports. <laughs> and the few times I do get auto-filled supports, it feels like Ooh, I'm losing a lot of my... Ow. Yeah, um, it feels like Oh, did mind. get the Morgana. She didn't binding it. Okay. A lot of trades back and forth. Yes, uh, we do see low. the Ignite from Senpai going down this time around in exchange for Nora's uh, Flash. I did. <clears throat> I've actually caught up. Don't worry about it. Okay. Don't judge me. Are you sure, though? Yes, I'm 100%. Ooh, Ow, got the cue. I took a bullet to the feathers. Spell shoot comes for in for the safety. Er er early binding. That... That's when you're starting to lose confidence uh, as the Morgana. So 
So did Nora win or Nora and Burza win the last one? Or did uh, no, win they the last one? they uh they lost the last one. If you were to okay, uh... so Senpai Dasuki and yes. Rudolph won the last one. Cool. Yes, um, in a very undramatic fashion, after Look actually having cool. some good fights towards uh, the 12, 13 minute mark, um, uh, they kind of just walked up and killed the tower. Right. <laughs> it was, uh, it was anticlimactic. One... Yeah, because one powerful rune that exists is Demolish. Yes. And just having that, just taking true damage from away from the turret just hurts so much. Well, so what had happened, um, Nor and Burza, they were able to catch out um, uh, the support Thresh, or no, the support Lux. Um, and while, yes, they were able to get the kill, uh, the Thresh died to the tower getting the kill, and the Caitlyn had to back. But the opposing side's Caitlyn, they were just coming back into lane as the Caitlyn was backing. So he just walked up and killed the tower. Little, uh... Oof. Oh, the Morgana and MF combo comes down, but the Zaya has an ult. She presses her She ult. does have an ult. Uh, both Morganas do not have that. mana, but Senpai does have some fairy charms to get that health, or that mana back. Yeah, and Zaya had to go back. She had to take her flight back to mid lane very uh, soon. Let's take a look. So, uh, Senpai does have 225 stacks on the mana flow. Uh, Nora only has 175, and that will be the final charge. So, Senpai does have the mana flow band stacking, or fully stacked now. So now he'll have a large enough pool of mana. Right. It looks like Zaya is full built, by the way. She does have her five Doran's blade. Ah, uh, yes, she does. Ooh, the bullet almost hit. Zaya might stop. Nope. Yeah, it does stop the Morgana backing. Uh, now, that gives Nora a little bit of time to get back to lane before they have to get out there again. Uh, Alpha Rudolph does, however, have the teleport, so if he needs to get back uh, really quickly, he can. And is looks like choosing to go for the call fields. Yep, that builds into lethality items like um, Dustblade and Yomu's. Also, it does build into Essence Reaver, so it depends on what he wants to build. Ow. Both are... Both sides taking decent damage. But, uh, the the difference is that Nora has 15% life re or uh, life steal, while Alpha only has 9%. That, that is true, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, demolish oh, proc off. Ow. I feel pa that turret feels pain. I can feel that pain. Alright, so 2,000. So two plates down on uh, the blue side, one plate down on the red side. Uh, going well so far for uh, Burza and Nora. Finding goes wide. <clears throat> Ooh! Got him! Unfortunately, Morgana does not have an ult that makes her invulnerable. But a misfortune goes down for the Zaya. Now Senpai has just let me out. I don't I don't want to die. <laughs> he is kind of out of mana as well, but he has to stay in case um, Zaya t wants to take the turret plates. Yeah, and Alpha doesn't have uh, TP now, so he has to walk back to lane. Yeah, and he doesn't have any mana as Morgana, so he has to... Kind of, yeah, uses W in a good position. Eh, he has enough mana, I feel. Oh, okay. See, more. Um, All right, so does now that uh, blades. now that Burza doesn't have any more uh, Durant blades that he can build effectively, what is the next item going to be? I'm going to guess boots. <sighs> yeah, boots definitely. Oh, he sold a blade. Now, see, that's where he made the mistake. He definitely getting Essence Reaper. Or, no, maybe Storm Razor for a little bit more burst. Storm Razor. Yeah, Storm Razor does sound a little bit better. Um, I don't even know where Miss Fortune's going still. She's still sitting on that call fields. Maybe she's saving up for BF Sword. 
to get the Essence Reaver going, or else she would have gone a double. Well, no, Serrated Dirk would have been a little bit better than the Dorn's Blade, so maybe she would have bought a Serrated Ah, uh, that's where you are mistaken, thing. sir. Because this is the way of the misfortune nowadays. I don't keep track of misfortunes. Meta exactly, builds, you don't. That's that. That's why you're not like the captain. They, I feel like they change every other week. I feel like one week is lethality misfortune. One week is black cleaver and attack speed. One week is like boar essence reaver. It, it's like. it's been the four Durant's blades since uh since the season went into preseason. Okay. I understand why the stats are amazing on Durant's blade. But... Yeah. And then everybody started realizing, wait a minute, this is good on everybody. And then it became boring. Uh -oh. Oh, no. oh, he did get the binding off. off. Or the, uh... oh. oh! Oh, this is going to be a close one here. Misfortune doesn't get an auto out, kills the Morgana. And it seems like Zaya is a little bit more HP than both of them. Yes, but okay. they do have four blades each, so that's 12% lifesteal. Uh, not counting yep. whatever lifesteal that the Misfortune has from her runes. Let me take a gander. Uh, has Bloodline and Overheal. Zaya has Triumph and Alacrity. So no lifesteal uh, inherently other than the Durand's Blades. Ooh, got the double up. Oh, oh they're going to look for it. Up? They're trying to go for it. Oh, they got they got her maybe? They did get her, but it yeah, is but not an Morgana ace as Morgana is alive. Yep. They will probably take a plate out of this and get back, reset themselves a little bit. Yeah, they did get a demolish proc off. Uh, plating is down now, though, so uh, the tower goes down to about 1,100 remaining, while Blue Sides has 2,600. Morgana is low on health and mana. I yeah, she should she... Uh, be a little bit careful. She probably... If she gets knifed by a binding from, from out, of, out of eyesight, then she will die. I think she's just gonna stay. Yeah, she has to stay now. She didn't take a back. Demolish did did Demolish stop proc? the demolish proc from happening, so that's yeah. that's really good of her. But it looks like less than twenty five percent health on the red turret. Yes, but now the Zaya is back and has a uh, ninja tabby of all things. Well, that misfortune's hurt. It's gonna hurt a little bit less. Oh, but that misfortune hurts a little too much. Hurt hurt the Morgana quite a bit. She has to back now. And this is the only time she can because their Morgana also backed. So a little trick of misfortune that some people don't know about is that your Q is actually considered an auto attack when it comes to press the attack. So if you go auto Q auto, you basically proc um, your press the attack faster than you auto three times. <laughs> Yes, I am still dying. Shut up. <laughs> I felt bad, so I had to do this. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, get the double up. Ah, so, 300. That's effectively all three of the Durand's Blades. Uh, and then some. So that's that's a pretty good amount of damage from the double up. Yeah. Um, for the double up, if you kill the minion that you press your it double crits. up on, yep. it crits. An auto crit. Yeah, it hurts. <laughs> yeah, it's a guaranteed crit on whatever that secondary target is. See, on the minion, it critted for 500. That yeah, poor minion. It needs to build a little bit more armor. Ooh, oh, does land the behind you. But... Oh, oh I Misfortune think... oh, needs to is... flash out of there. Does get I'm out of the range right. of it, but now Nora's a little stuck. Yep. Oh! Oh! Misfortune does end up going down. Yeah, that execute damage on the puddle. Um, it's a little burnt. tricky, but Senpai knows he's got him in his <laughs> sights. Verza realizes he's going the wrong way! He's going the wrong way! Does he have flash? He doesn't have flash, but he does have ignite. Call oh! It. oh. The barrier. He does have ignite. If he can get there and ignite, he's trying. The difference is in boots. The difference is in boots. Oh no, it's not. Never oh no, no, no. He has five movement speed more. All right, oh, Nora's Burza no, survived no. long enough for Nora to get up. Yeah, yeah. 
All right, well, that's what the important part. But they're trying to go for the end right here, right now. Yeah. So the turret has less than what 15% HP left. So a yeah. couple autos here and there, and it demolished proc, and it should be over. And yeah. Yeah. Now so they're trying to kill the Morgana, but they understand it's already done and over. So we're going to go ahead and exit out and get prepped for game three, possibly the final game of this series. So don't go anywhere. We will be right back. And we are back, folks, now in game three. Yeah, and we're here to see which better, which bot lane is the better bot lane between these two teams of Zephyr <coughs> 50 and Alpha Rudolph versus Nora and Verza. We're about to get into picks and bans very soon. All right. So it seems like both teams decided to not ban anything from the other side. Yeah. So we're just going to go ahead and straight into the champion select. Uh, so hopefully it's... we can uh, wrap this up quickly because apparently one of the players uh, needs to leave early. 
Yeah, so Berza's, um needs to leave in about five minutes. So hopefully get this gets done pretty quickly for him. Mm -hmm. Um, maybe it's another bot lane duo. Caitlyn, Morgana, Caitlyn, Lux, Zaya, Lux, something of that sort. I'm dying. I am not responsible if he dies on stream, by the way. Just gonna go ahead and have us transitioned into the uh in game scenario. Yep. <clears throat> and in we... picks of bands with um caster's delay. Yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and actually we'll go ahead and put us into the post game uh or <laughs> post game uh pre game lobby so that way people can see what the picks are now that they are locked in. And we have Olaf Nocturne on the blue side versus Varus Misfortune. Now, it's a little bit different. Um, the Misfortune is a support Misfortune. So... Um, I'm actually not surprised because Senpai Daizuki is known for his uh, his support MF and support Teemo. And support Teemo, yes. Not yeah, troll. So he I'm, is, not uh, I'm not surprised. He's D3 that. now, isn't he? Uh, yeah, he he's made it to Diamond in, 3. Yeah. He's uh, somewhere up there. Yeah, he made it to D3 uh, earlier this weekend. Yeah, so I'm not surprised for the MF support. Um, kind of an homage to his main champion. Um, Varus is an ADC, so I'm not surprised with this um, MF Varus on the red side. On the blue side, is very different. Um, not an ADC support. It's two melee bruisery assassins coming at you with axe and claws and ready to tear you apart with everything they have. Now, here's the question. Will they be able to do that? Because they have to go against two very long-range champions. So, while, yes, their ultimates allow them to do that, they need to get to their ultimates to be able to do that. Yeah. I feel like their turret is going to take a beating before they get yeah. to level 6. Um, and if they get to the running part, where they actually get to level 6 and runs out Varus and Misfortune, um, it's going to be painful, levels 1 through 5. Oh, definitely. And a little bit of something, they both have Ignite. Ignite is a great spell when it comes to damage. No questions asked. Mm -hmm. um, but they don't stack. You don't do double damage. They just reset the timer on the burn. It's similar to how heal. You don't double heal. Or mm -hmm. it's rather it's reduce heal for the second heal. Um, with Ignite, you just extend. You just reset the time where they burn, and the damage is not mitigated or anything. <laughs> We're about to jump into game. Oh, Ansem um, slowly withers away. Yeah, don't mind me. It's okay. Um, I'm only going to have to be the shot caller for my team, too. So <laughs> I am not responsible for shot calling. Yeah, I know. So, I what does MF support Bill? Um, so, she'll go for the... Um... Uh, Other than the sickle. The sickle. And probably just go into Dirk, honestly. Is it Dirk? Okay. That's what I would think. Because it's it's a cheaper version. Yeah, that makes sense. Um with the uh original gonna... MF support, it would go into like a BF sword or not BF, uh Phage into Black Cleaver, etc. etc. Mm hmm So with Varus, I'm interested if it's gonna be a attack speed Varus or a poke Varus. Um, it's gonna be very telling at which summoners they take, or not summoners, runes they take. Yeah, so let's have oh, Varus, a, let's have a gander. It's probably attack speed Varus, right? That's what they've been doing. Attacks like an yeah. ADC support. Yes. Yeah. And we have not one, not two, but three lethalities, or uh, lethal tempos. <laughs> lethalities, lethality. Your favorite rune. Take, pick it up in the sorcery tree. Are you sure it's the sorcery tree? Nope, it's an inspiration tree. No, it's in the green tree, whatever it's called. Are you sure about that? Yeah, it's right next to um shield. Bash. Lethality, <laughs> lethality. Yeah, yeah, right next to shield bashing and um demolish. Uh, We're taking away the third one. That doesn't matter. Okay. Well, no, let's go Riot ahead and Leaks. catch up this into. Is just, uh... This is some riot leaks, by the way. 
let's go ahead and make sure we're all up to speed at 45 seconds now. Uh, yeah. The Olaf and Nocturne, they are lying in wait, going to see if they're they can... They're uh, doing something fancy. See if they they're can doing, get a little some... sneaky sneak. They have about, like, three minutes left. Ooh, got the first, the leaves. first damage, so... First blood. Not close, but... Not not the same thing, but you know, close not the enough. same thing. First damage or first blood, but wow, yeah, and... he's really good with these axe. Dodging. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Oh, he's baiting for the nocturne. Oh, he's going in. Oh, he's going. They're going for it. They're going for it. I think. Oh, oh. they did get the uh, the Olaf and the misfortune goes down. Nocturne um, should Olaf be able died? to chase him down. Yeah, nocturne should be finished. And yeah. That is, not an ace. that is not an ace. That is not an. Oh wait, that was an ace. What? That was an ace. Yeah. What? <laughs> GG. GG. <laughs> um. Yeah. Within a minute and a half of gameplay, double um, kill for the Nocturne. Okay. All right. Congratulations to them. Uh, for literally running it down. <laughs> and it actually works. So, uh, congrats. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure if, uh, that is going to be it, though, for right now. We may have to pick this up in a part two. I was out of one of this. What does this part two can consist of? Uh, did you uh, exit out already? Yes, I did. Okay, then it's on them. What happened? Okay. Have they invited you? Yet? Hold on, everybody. We're going to go to an intermission really quickly. We'll be right back. All right, everybody. Hello and welcome back. Um, so uh, there has been some complications with one of the teams. Uh, we have elected to, or we are discussing. <laughs> um, one of the teams has had an issue where they are unable to uh, play this evening uh, now that it is past 8 o'clock as they had something that they had to take care of. <coughs> And because the scoreboard is 2-1 to one in favor of Senpai Daisuke and Alpha Rudolph, 
we're thinking of possibly postponing the last two matches for tomorrow or a later date. Yes, so we are postponing them until tomorrow evening, so I am sorry everybody who has turned, tuned in to watch us this evening. Um, but yes, so we will be uh, starting this series up again tomorrow at 10 p.m. EST with the score of 2-1 to one in favor of Senpai and Alpha Rudolph. So make sure to tune in. Uh, we will have casters, hopefully ones that are not dying. Uh, thank you for showing up, and you are beautiful people. Any last words? Nope, I am perfectly fine. Okay. All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, have a good day, and we shall see you tomorrow. Good night. Impromptu cast.